Portugal, the land of custard Brazilians. The oldest living dog in the world, the hardest partiers in the world. Relaxed drivers. This guy. A language that sounds like a mix between Spanish, Russian and Doc. Some unique dictators. Seventy-two percent of the world's cork. Three continents, the world's best pavements, and Brissa. That's right, my first Portuguese tip is to cop some of this shit because it is God's nectar. Also, it's a good wok substitute for anyone trying to get off them opioids. And talking about beverages, make sure to cop yourself a 40 of Superbock. This Portuguese beer is delicious. I could never imagine Portugal inventing a bad beer. Now on the intoxication topic, the Portuguese are definitely experts in this field. As I said, they party pretty damn hard, so come prepared and I would advise you to not show up in Porto in the morning of the 24th of June. <laughs> So yeah, I was in Portugal two weeks ago. First off was technically my first time in Africa, Madeira. Seriously, one of the most picturesque places I've ever been. However, <laughs> there is, however, a saving grace. Also, you got Madeira wine. Its name is a lie. Do not gulp it down like normal wine. Uh, lesson learned. And probably the most famous thing about Madeira is this guy. Yeah, Ronaldo grew up here and uh, they definitely let you know about it. I can't say I'm the biggest football fan, but this statue of him at the airport definitely puts a smile on my face. Secondly, I technically had my first time in America, the Azores, aka the pineapple capital of Europe. I was only here for two days, but some of the highlights include eating the best sandwich of my life, made by a man who hated crypto with a passion and decorated his entire restaurant with that in mind. They are so f***ing damn good, you will flip over them. I also witnessed the best pavements I've ever seen in my life, found a Georgia flag, and I don't speak a word of Portuguese apart from obrigado, but apparently this is how Azorians sound to other Portuguese people. And finally, I visited Porto. If you find yourself in Porto, I'd recommend exclusively spending money in this area, as this part is just... Also, this beach is worth visiting if you're struggling to remove a wig. Some of the best attractions in Porto include this big painting of Blade, one euro bock, and f***ing Crystal Palace Park, bruv. Oh, and this little non-important bridge. Now, I didn't really have enough euro or time to get around any more of Portugal, but I've done my research and come up with... A guide to the rest of Portugal. It's like the Detroit of Europe or something. People have been using this place as a toilet full of f***ing trash. I grab a knife. There's a lot of trash down there. It smells like shit. A lot of thieves in this town. Shoplifting, pickpocketing. That guy just tried to sell me co Really aggressive people trying to give me co I got really f***ing sketch really fast. And as soon as I turn the corner, I just start f***ing running, man. Something bad happened. I got f***ing sucker punched. I'm walking to the bus station now. This town f***ing sucks. Suck.